What's up, baby? We back. Okay, today's topic is getting in the dog game. Getting in the dog game, right? You want to get in the dog game. You want to get dogs. You want to you wanna start off, you want to make a whole bunch of money. You're not going to make a whole bunch of money off top, off the rip. You know what I mean? You're not going to get in this dog game, buy a couple dogs, and next day you're walking around with big-ass chains on and, and driving something crazy. You're not going to do that. That's not going to happen. You also got to look at You got to buy dogs. You got kennels. You know, your setup. Your marketing, your branding, your um, food, medicine, vet bills, uh, the care for the dog, the, your, your time. You know, that's a lot. You got to think about that when you want to get into the dog game. Because when I get into something, when I do something, I'm going in. I'm, I'm, I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to jump over the steps. Like, like Fed said, it's, you got to go from A to Z. So we started at A. We got Gigi first. Gigi right here. She uh, she 11 months. She'll be a year next next month. Excuse me, on August uh, 18th, she'll be a year. So I'll put a picture of her grandparents and her dad on the screen right here, and her mom. So we got her, and then we end up getting uh, Goo of Goo and Cali. We got Remy. She's our all black over there. I put a picture of her on the screen as well, and Nala. I put a picture of Nala. After that, we got Betty. We call her Iceberg Betty. She's all sleep and Nova. So she's over there. I put a picture of her on the screen as well. And then we was talking with Fed, and he was like, "Man, you want a male? You need a male." I got, I got something crazy coming up with our dog Cookie and and uh, Grand Champion Shamrock. So I was like, "All right, you know, talking it all like cool. We do need a male. Bam, let's let's go ahead and do that." So we end up getting Hondo. I put a picture of Hondo on the screen. And after doing that, me and Fed started talking and we came up with something. So if y'all been watching, that's how we got SSK West started. If you can see it right there at the bottom, SSK West. Oh, and these are new kennels. These are kennels, man. My boy didn't believe in me. Fed was like, man, you gonna paint the kennels? Man, I was like, trust me, bro. I watch. You know, so these are the kennels. I don't know if y'all can see them. You know, they blue with the, with the logo. I put the logo at the bottom with the little paw prints and stuff. And then they got our original logo. Our uh, abbreviations at the back, and then every dog bowl got the dog letter or the name up there, and all that. All that, and we getting that another time. We take pride. We take pride in our dog. We got medicine for coccidia. We got medicine for parvo. We got medicine for giardia, skin issues, uh, fleas and ticks, um, anything you name it. Vomiting. We got medicine for all that in house here. So. It saves us the time to have to go to the vet, but also if we need to go to the vet, we'll go to the vet. But sometimes vet's not open. You know what I mean? Now you got an emergency, that dog might not make it. You know what I mean? So now we got medicine to treat that. One bottle was 30 milliliters, cost $500. That's gonna save me a trip to the vet. And what if that vet's closed and it's an emergency? Now I got the medicine in-house to treat whatever, you know, what's going on with the dog. So. That's all about investing in yourself. You know, I'm negative right now. I didn't spend so much money on these kennels to set up more gratification, buying a puppy, watching it grow, learning, researching, and being able to, to see the progress over just getting a big dog, breeding it, bam, jumping out there. Now we got puppies. We don't know what to do if we had a puppy because we didn't skip step B and went all the way to Z. We started at A, we skipped B, C, D, E, went to Z, and now we got puppies, we don't know what to do, we don't know how to treat stuff, you know what I mean? So, for us, it was more so a learning, a learning experience. Let's start, let's start off like this, and grow each step, and then, that's just how we did it. I mean, you may wanna do it however you wanna do it, but just know getting this dog game ain't cheap. Um, research, man, do, do whatever you can to learn as much as you can about these dogs, the breed, whatever breed you got, learn much, as much as you can. Um, learn about coccidia, how to tell the difference between coccidia and giardia. Um, giardia got more blood in it. You know, they both have a mucous membrane. Uh, parvo smells bad as shit. So learn those things, man. Understand that. Um, skin conditions, how to treat vomiting. Um, how, to, how to disinfect your yard from fleas and ticks. In the summers, fleas and ticks is real bad, so you need to understand that. We didn't know that until we got a dog and we started researching. 
Because Gigi, she ended up getting Giardi. Scared the shit out of because we didn't know what the fuck was going on. We learned a lot by Googling and researching on our own before we even linked up with Fed. So that, that was our process. Let's learn as we go. When you go to a vet, if you go to a vet, ask questions, man. Like, hey, can I go back there and learn? You know, ask questions. Know as much as you can because a vet is not available all day. You know what I mean? Some vet, vets close at a certain time. And if that vet's closed and you have emergency, you gonna have to go to an emergency vet that's gonna charge you low. Why not learn as much as you can to keep yourself from going to that emergency vet just in case, you know what I mean? So now you can wait until the vet open up and you didn't have the proper, you didn't deal whatever you can to stop what was going on. So that for us, that was, that was it. We wanted to learn as much as we can and be able to, cause we really do care about our dogs, man. Over here at SSK, we did an embark test genetic test to learn each about each dog so we gonna have a separate video about that as well but that's just what we want to do over here you know what I mean that's the goal that's the dream that's where we're going like I said we st I started in November of 2021 it's June it's July I mean excuse me it's July so we just started we ain't even a year in in this and you can see what my head is at like how I didn't, I didn't research everything and I know because that's just the type of person I am. Like everybody's different. Everybody's not going to be like me. I mean, everybody doesn't have the same budget as, as he does or as that guy does or as me. You know, everybody's budget is different. So work with what you got, but also, man, take pride in what you do because at the end of the day, it's about the animals. You know what I mean? It's not about the money. I mean, yeah, I mean, everybody wants to get paid in this, but everything it still comes back about the animals like all this that you see all the money all the money i spent on medication uh food the kennels the setup all that is a tax write-off because i got my business set up to where whatever i buy is a tax write-off it's a breeding business same thing with the horses in the back like my horses is a tax write-off everything i do for the horses is a tax write-off right now if i told you how much i'm negative man y'all be like man this dude tripping but at the end of the day it's worth it because it's a process. Like I said, fall in love with the process. Stop trying to go from A to Z so fast, jumping the steps, trying to catch the elevator and missing out on, you know, growing. Fall in love with the process. You know what I mean? It's like, if you want to get in this game and just be a backyard breeder, go ahead. You can do that by all means. You can do whatever you want to do. Nobody's stopping you saying you got to do what, I, what I'm doing or what somebody else is doing. That Maybe that's what you want to do. But over here at SSK, we're not doing that. We're going we gonna, we gonna to go from A to Z. Like I said, falling in love with the process. Buying all the medications I need. Taking care of these dogs, man. Making sure they get the love that they and the care that they need. Like, no. No, not that one. Like, I could. I can open this, this kennel right here and she won't come out. Because I built that bond, that love with her before as a puppy growing up. So now, she knows not to come out unless I tell her to. You know, that's just all about loving your dogs and falling in love with the process. You know, so each dog is different though, like Gigi. Gigi's just wild. Gigi loves to run and play. She's not wild like as in a negative way. She just loves running and play, but she understands and knows. Like, I can open her kennel, she won't come out. You know, that's just me loving the dogs and loving how I take care of them. So, if you got questions, hit me up, man. I know a lot. I done studied a lot. I know, you know, enough. And if I don't know, man, my boy Fed knows. You know, this is SSK. We have family. You know, his followers his family my followers is his family you know we all the same we all come here under one umbrella and it's ssk baby so if you got a question leave it in the comment if you, you want to hit me up hit me up i'm gonna leave all my contact information at the bottom um but we got something crazy coming up so i don't want to make this too long look out for that embark video we're going to show y'all how to do an embark testing on all these dogs as well and, and how to submit it and do it do all that other good stuff, man, to make take your camp to another level. Because we ultimately trying to take this breed to another level and show people that 
it's really good owners out there that really care and breeders that really care about their dogs and not just in it for the for the money and trying to go to step Z. Trying to go out of that mother. Shout out my boy Fed. You know. Uh Tiana. I, I, I meant to tell you, Tiana, I see you do that motherfucking cartwheel. Yeah. And you flip with no hands. Girl. Mirror Mirror. Uncle wanna just tell you, Google. Google, top, top, I'm gonna come out there and you're gonna have to bring my goddamn hair because I got enough to get some crochets in this month somewhere. But I'm telling you, it's hot in the motherfucker right now because I'm sitting in this fucking barn from coming outside and it's hot. Fed, oh. you gonna make me cry, boy. I love you. Wait, and you already know what time it is if they, you know, they fuck with you. It's over. <laughs> Shout out my boy, Fed. Shout out all the donkeys out there. I'm gonna go come see y'all. I love y'all. Fan ain't the only crazy motherfucker in SSK. Damn it. The dog looking at me like, what the hell wrong with this boy? Hit that like. Subscribe. If you want more, I'm gonna, God damn it, I'm gonna give you more of this SSK out this motherfucker. God damn it. I'm all right.